One of the beautiful things about the Frankfurt uh, Book Fair is its, it's true uh, uh, global scale. I was chatting with a guy at lunch who used to run the university press in Singapore. Um, and he was a real expert in illustrated books, and I knew nothing about illustrated books. And we were noting how little one another of us knew about the respective parts of the business we were in. He knew nothing about fiction. I knew nothing about his business. But what we had in common is that no matter what the input was, no matter what the audience was, uh, somewhere in our respective jobs, a book came out of it. And that was the only thing we had in common. And he said that and the fact that we go to the Frankfurt Book Fair. <laughs> and that's the power of, of this book fair, is that tremendously disparate people come here from one particular purpose. And the next speaker, uh, Rita Sadke, uh, is an example of that. He's the Senior Officer for Design and Production of the International Federation of Red Cross and Red Crescent Societies, the world's largest humanitarian organization. And uh, it's an honor and a privilege to hear from him right now. Thank you. All right. All right. The um, IFRC, uh, we publish 750 tools for change each year. That's 12,000 pages printed 25 million times. 1819 is the year the IFRC was founded, 1863 the Red Cross emblem, 1876 the Red Crescent emblem, and 2005 the Red Crystal emblem, which no one knows about, but it's there. And these are enshrined in the Geneva Conventions. So 277 million, 800,000, 36,000, 300,000, 2 billion, 500 million. From 2004 to 2009, more than 277.8 million people were supported by uh, almost 300,000 Red Cross, Red Crescent volunteers through 2,468 disaster response operations. 36,000, more than 36,000 volunteers responded to 384 emergencies, reaching almost 45 million people. This is the number of people in Tanzania, Haiti, and Chile given access to safe water through Red Cross Red Crescent projects. It's also the number of malaria deaths averted as a direct result of net distributions. The number of people living with HIV who receive psychosocial support from national societies. 2.5 billion is the number of people at risk worldwide from dengue fever each year. I'd like now to focus on urban risk, 1 billion, 142 million, 99 million, 50,184, 6, and 79. 1 billion is the number of uh, people living in 2010 in overcrowded slums worldwide. 142 million is the average number of people affected by natural disasters each year between 2000 and 2008, including floods. 99 million is the number of people affected yearly by floods for that same period. 50,184 is the average number of people killed each year by earthquakes between 2000 and 2008. Six is the um, number for child mortality per 1,000 live births in industrialized countries, in other words, in rich countries. 79 is that same piece of information for poor countries. Now I'd like to take us to publishing via these children and the Haiti earthquake. These are children playing in the street in Leogan, the epicenter of the earthquake. 80% of the city was destroyed. 47 is the number of countries that have achieved universal primary education, literacy, out of 163 with data available. 2015 is the Millennium Development Goals um, two, which is to uh, achieve universal primary education and ensure that children everywhere are able to read and write and achieve basic literacy. 26.2% is a percentage of people in Mali who know how to read and write, with literacy being defined as the understanding of a short, simple sentence about everyday life. 500 million Swiss francs is the approximate annual budget of the International Federation of Red Cross and Red Crescent Societies, with approximately half of it coming through emergency appeals. 
This is the percentage spent out of that IFRC budget spent on publishing, were around 1.36 million Swiss francs. And this is the number of people who would hear about any of this without two things, their first one literacy and the other books. So my point is simply that publishing is an indicator of both literacy and therefore of development. Thank you.